Welcome aboard, it's Captain G with Global 2025 Meltdown. Turn one. So I forgot to record a turn after the Eastern Pact went. Uh, basically we took Israel, Turkey, the Central Europe and the Balkans. But as you can see from these markers, spoiler alert, the Western Alliance responded with a nuclear salvo. So at the end of my turn, it looked like we were doing really well, uh, with the exception of one frigate that I'd sent down from the Caliphate to sink the Pacific Coalition's frigate, and it did not hit and had to retreat. But I'll come back to the frigate. But the Alliance, the Western Alliance, successfully converted the Eastern African states and Brazil. So with our beefed up neutral forces, they swept into Venezuela and East Africa. The Indian Army pushed into and captured Iran, Pakistan, and then they nuked and obliterated the Southeast Asia Chinese forces and the massive armor and infantry units that Russia had in Europe. So knowing that the Eastern Pact could respond with 10 nuclear weapons, Eggman has dispersed his forces in quite the unusual manner. So they are all over the board, landing on islands that I didn't know were on the game, but there's Puerto Rico, the Canary Islands, and scattered Pacific Islands. So any one nuke couldn't seriously impact the Western Alliance too much. They've also went on a very aggressive anti-submarine campaign, leaning, leaving only two submarines, one in the Pacific, one in the Med for the Eastern Pac, which protects their most of their fleet from nuclear cruise missiles. So our options are limited. The only success we had during their attack turn, back to that frigate, unable to sink the coalition frigate, the Western Alliance counterattacked with a guided missile destroyer and two frigates, and the Caliphate survived. And only this frigate from the... <laughs> From the Western Alliance survived. So the little frigate that could did sink a guided missile destroyer and a frigate and made up for its earlier failure. But now all the planning goes to how does the Eastern Alliance strike back with their nukes? The one question we have, <clears throat> which I've tried to uh, reach out to some other YouTubers to see if they have answers. If we do a general effects attack in the United States, and we roll for the units destroyed, there are no units here. So do I destroy his ICBMs? Or if I roll higher than a two, do I destroy these ICBMs? Or are nukes treated like bases and have to be targeted either individually or collectively? Or are nukes considered safe underground in their silos? And the only way to destroy them is to capture the territory, a la Iran, Pakistan. So that, question that answer to the question will determine the strategy for the eastern alliance on turn two keep you posted captain g more to come out here